everyone. Uh, my name is Cynthia Sias. I'm a PhD student at Virginia Tech working with Michael Flesner in the Weed Science and Extension Lab. And today we are in Blackstone, Virginia, where we hold several of our field experiments, one of which is looking at the effects of cover crops and their potential suppression on Palmer amaranth. And so what we wanted to do with this field trial was to answer three main questions that we get from growers. The first question is, how much biomass do I actually need in order to achieve weed suppression? The second question that we often get is, uh, when should I terminate my cover crop? And the third question that we often get is, um, should I roll my cover crop or leave it standing? And so in order to answer these questions, we established our experiment in which we evaluated these three factors. So in order to answer the biomass question, we established a low, medium, and high cover crop biomass gradient. And we did that by staggering our planting dates in the fall. To answer the question of termination timing, we established two treatments. The first treatment was terminating the cover crop two weeks prior to cash crop planting. So at the time of planting, that cover crop was brown. And the second treatment was terminating the cover crop at the time of planting. So at the time of cash crop planting, that cover crop was still green. And finally, in order to answer the rolled versus standing question, we had some treatments that were rolled at the time of uh, planting and some treatments that were left standing. And so what we have found from the past two years where we've run this trial is basically that what we've seen in previous literature where uh, the impact of heavy biomass to prevent weeds from coming up is probably the strongest factor that we're seeing that is suppressing Palmer amaranth. And so as we increase our total cover crop biomass accumulation, we're seeing a decrease in Palmer amaranth. Uh, emergence. As far as the timing, we haven't seen a whole lot of difference yet and so that's why we're running the trial for a third year in order to make more concrete uh, statements about that. And then finally, the rolled versus standing, we're still looking at the data, but so far what we've seen is that the standing plots have actually suppressed uh, Palmer amaranth emergence a little more than the rolled plots. And we think maybe that could be due to some light interception. Um, as you leave that cover crop standing, you have a little bit more light that is being intercepted and preventing emergence of that Palmer amaranth population. So we're looking forward to running this trial again for another year and uh, coming up with better recommendations for our growers that are interested and involved in cover crops.